Alright, welcome back. We just got through doing the uh, 57 T-Bird White Hub opening. And the other day when I did the uh, Jammer 73 uh, video, I went over a few cars in the video, but there was one that I left alone, and I left it alone on purpose. Well, a couple of you guys noticed it and had mentioned it. It is this one. It's the uh, 63 Corvette uh, High Raker, real rider with white hub. Uh, I don't believe it came with a gray hub. Uh, if I'm wrong, again, please correct me on in the comments down below. But this is, I traded for this one. It's pretty much mint. Uh, there's no scratches at all on the paint. The only thing that I find wrong with it is a little bit of the tampos kind of wanting to come off and that little bit that little bend in the white hub right there see it at the top of the your top of the rim but uh rolls perfect the uh the high raker still comes down or up whatever you want to call it but i got this one in a trade deal but also got i wanted a mint one and there's two people on a uh, certain website right now that's got this car for sale. One person has it listed for $150, and the other person has it listed for $125. And the $125, the card isn't as in good of shape. This is on an unpunched card. Real Riders, 86 cents at Walmart, and check it out. There it is. Split one to 63 die cast metal again the same with the uh, T-Bird looks like I got it from the same guy so and he got the collection from one person a whole collection So apparently the previous owner hung these up by thumbtack and uh, Instead of unpunching the card and hanging it up. I guess they just stuck it right through the card anyways, yes this car I don't I haven't checked in a couple of days a few days ago I did check though and nobody had this one listed on eBay uh, there is a uh, another online website that has two of them for sale like I said one person's asking 150 the other guy or girl whatever is asking 125 I paid sixty dollars for this car yes sir sixty bucks shipped and uh but i bought some other cars from the guy because uh like the t-bird that you saw uh i bought a few cars from the guy so uh anyways yes this is it and look at this car guys and gals it's uh it's got a little bin right there not bad but the cards in really good shape i mean corners and everything but I want it for my loose collection. So yes. In actuality, I just opened a uh, 150 or 125 dollar car because that's usually what they go for. Uh, there's the tampos, the high rigger. Just closed it off, and really, now I got two of them. But in reality, the uh, tampos aren't really that bad on this one. Pretty clean. And uh, I forget what I traded for this, but it really wasn't much. Uh, but uh, no, I, 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 I take that back. Sorry, I did lie to you, or I didn't purposely lie. I gotta correct myself. I can I'll pull up the uh, eBay number and I'll put the e name the uh, eBay number across the screen in one of the frames here pretty soon. I actually got this car and like three other Corvettes. Uh, it ended. Nobody bought it. Uh, the guy's starting price was uh, I think seven ninety nine plus shipping. And nobody bid. I meant to bid. I'd watched it and I didn't. Well, I emailed the guy and said, "Hey, I'll give you twenty bucks shipped 
for all the cars. And he said, fine, thanks for offering me a, a, a fair deal. He thought it was a fair deal. He put it back on eBay real quick. The auction had ended. That's right, that's how I got this one. I didn't trade for it at all. I got this car and three other Corvettes, which I'll stop the video and I'll go get them real quick and show you the other Corvettes. But uh, yeah, for 20 bucks, so. Yeah, you can't beat that deal. I, I don't know why I even forgot about it. I've been working so much here lately that uh, I don't even know what day it is. So anyways, let me pause this video. I'll be right back so you can see the other Corvettes that I got. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Uh, Real Rider Corvette White Hub. This 63 Corvette. The little three spoke wheels. I already had this car, but uh, the guy had all four of these as a uh, as yeah. Starting price was seven ninety nine, and I have no clue why I let it get away. I could have bid seven ninety nine and and got it for that plus shipping. You know, I paid thirteen bucks. You know, but I offered the guy twenty bucks. I didn't think he'd take it, but he did. He's like, yeah, thanks for making a fair deal. Uh, and like I said, I'll provide the uh, eBay number so you can see that this is uh, all true. Anyways, uh, got this one in it. What's cool about this car is uh, when I first started collecting, I was into collecting for about, I don't know, two or three years. And uh, I went back to Walmart and this car was actually on the pegs. And it had been out for a few years, but somebody had brought it back and it had the old stickers that you used to take stuff back to Walmart when you peeled the sticker off at the at the customer service. It'd leave the word void on the card. So those three and this one. An old black wall. This one's uh, got a couple of chips right there in the back. In the back over here. But the tampos are fairly clean. I mean, it's got some, it's got some issues, but actually a pretty nice car. I mean, it uh, it uh, rolls perfectly and uh, everything. So uh, yeah, so I got this car and those three cars, twenty dollars shipped to my house. So five bucks a car. Of course, you know these probably aren't worth this one probably ain't worth five bucks but really come on man a hundred and fifty dollar Corvette and I got all four of them for twenty bucks can't beat that anyways thanks for watching and uh hopefully I'll be opening some more real riders I'm gonna try to set up a schedule maybe like the first of the month or at the end of the month have like a, a, a original real rider opening party uh and I'll go online and Find me a new real rider that I don't have maybe once a month and uh, and open it up for you guys because I'm, I'm going to go back all this vintage stuff anyway. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys uh, later. Bye.